Hello everybody, today I want to show you how to install Windows 11 on a Parallels Desktop 19. I've been using this software since uh, 2023 and for the most part it has been pretty easy to use in my experience. As you can see, I'm running Ubuntu Linux and Kali Linux, but today I want to show you how to go about in installing Windows 11. Uh, I'm running Parallel Desktop Standard Edition. I believe the only difference between the Standard Edition and the Pro Edition is that the Standard Edition only support VMs uh, up to four virtual CPUs and eight gigabytes of RAM, whereas uh, the Pro Edition uh, gives you a little bit more uh, a little bit more to work with uh, 32 virt virtual CPUs and 128 uh, gigabytes of RAM uh, in this case I felt like I didn't need the Pro Edition simply because I'm limited to the to the hardware of this MacBook Pro M3 so the, the way you go about installing Windows 11 is actually pretty simple you just hit that and you continue on clicking here then hit continue hit install windows and then it's going to take uh, a few minutes to download and after that um, it should be ready to go so after it finishes downloading and validating the OS it will go through the usual windows installation wizard as you can see it's wrapping up uh, the different processes that it needs to complete and right now i'm just waiting for it to restart So as you can see, the installation has been complete. Now I have to accept the uh, EULA and that is it. It's really that simple. One of the things I've noticed about uh, Parallel Desktop 19 is that it handles the, the account creation automatically like uh, my other two VMs. Ubuntu and Kali Linux I didn't even have to um, go through the account creation wizard like the whole account creation was handled automatically so that's that's one of the uh, good aspects of uh, Palo Alto desktops if you just want to get up and running and um, in my opinion it's very simple to use so this was a quick overview on how to install uh, Windows 11 on Palo Desktop 19. As you saw, it was very simple to install. And uh, the software itself is very simple to use. These are your different VMs. Control Center is basically what you see here. This is where you start or shut off your different VMs that you already installed your preferences, account license information, help, check for updates about parallel desktops and options. Uh, you know, I normally just keep it in dock. But overall, very simple uh, piece of software. And I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a solution for your um, M-series MacBook, MacBook. And... Um, uh, you're definitely not going to go wrong with this piece of software. Uh, it's very intuitive and very easy to use. Uh, so thank you for your time, guys. Uh, that's, that's it for this video. Thank you.